Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we are going to talk about Ivy League degrees. So Travis says, I really want to break into this field, but I don't know whether I can do it without an Ivy League Masters. I'm not even in the US. So I'm going to break this down for a little bit here, a little discussion. Quant finance, you don't need an Ivy League to a degree to do anything. Okay, let's just dive into this real quick. Uh, Ivy League schools, there are eight of them. Uh, there's Brown, Harvard, Cornell, Dartmouth, Yale, Columbia, and University of Pennsylvania. Out of all those programs, so I'm sure I might make a mistake and misspeak here because some program has a new program. But if you look at like QuantNet um, for their rankings, you look at risk.net, you look at all the big names. Uh, I'm in the industry, so I'm looking at this from my experience here. The only schools that actually have programs are going to be Cornell, Princeton, and Columbia. Okay, so none of these other schools' names mean anything in quant finance. So if you have a degree from Brown, Harvard, Dartmouth, Yale, University of Pennsylvania, and I'm looking for a, you know, quant degree, like, you know, master's in financial engineering or that, you're not really going to, like, there's no degree there. So you're going to have to have something else, like a stats master's or a math master's that I've talked about. But that being said, the best stats school is the best, math school is the best of all these schools. Some of these Ivy Leagues are in there, and many other schools that are not in there, so not Ivy League schools, have stellar degrees here. So, you know, Baruch, I'm going to throw them out there. I throw them out there all the time. Uh, basically, a no-name school, a city school, in general, not really viewed as a great, you know, school academically from the big academic perspective, and yet they have one of the best quant you know, financial engineering masters out there. So it's not really where, like, you don't need that big name brand Ivy League. So Ivy League means nothing in the quant world. What means something is actually where you went and the skills that you have. And so I'm not going to nail down exactly which schools I think are the best schools and which schools I think are the worst schools. But I'm going to give you a little bit of insight here. Something I tell a lot of, you know, students, perspective students, people in general in the industry here. If you want to look at programs, you just need a master's to break into the industry on a very general level here, okay? And it has to have relevant skills to get in. So you can get in through other masters like, you know, stats, math, computer science, and things like that. But when you're looking at programs in general here, so you're looking, say, at a big list of quant finance masters, the easiest way to pick a school is to apply to the ones that you think you want to get into and then pick the best school based off of that. But realistically, you should look at where their graduates are going here. So I have students say, Dimitri, I got accepted to, you know, I don't know, NYU Tandon. I got accepted to Berkeley and I got accepted to the University of Michigan. You talk about how much you love University of Michigan. Is that the school I should go to? And I say, well, no, not really. And they say, what do you mean? And I say, okay, look at where their graduates are going. Look at the types of jobs they're placing. So are they going into sales, trading? Are they going into, you know, validation model development on the risk side like I'm doing? Are they going into, you know, actual financial engineering derivative product creation, exotic option pricing, and all that. I mean, what exactly are their graduates doing here? Maybe they're all going into fintech. Maybe they're going into crypto. Maybe they're going into tech. Uh, maybe they're all going into hedge funds. Maybe they're going into wealth management that's more on the softer side. Like, figure out where their graduates are going and then pick the school that the graduates are going where you want to go. Because often, right, I might say this is the best program or this is my favorite program because it is extremely rigorous and it does X, Y, and Z. And then you find out you want to do something like quant dev, which is you need to be an expert in computer science. And that program doesn't really have very much, if any, computer science. And that's going to be an absolute terrible fit for you. Where another program might cover a little bit of math, stats, and everything else, but it's super heavy on computer science and like C and you know, C sharp and whatever. So pick the program that has the best skill set that aligns to you. The easiest way to do this, the easiest way to sort through the BS, the nonsense out there, just go on LinkedIn look up where their graduates are at, figure out if you like that job or not, look at 10, 20 students just to get kind of a feel for it, and then make that decision. But no, you don't need a fancy degree. Of course, the branding somewhat matters in relation to where you go, but if you know companies are hiring these students in this specific area that you want to go in, and their graduates are going there, they obviously think that that school has some sort of value. If not, they wouldn't have hired them. So anyways, those are my two cents. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.